But every time I would come back, it was always this reality check. And any time that I would come back with any type of um, comment based on things that had gone through, it was literally, it was just that. It was like, and? Okay. Like, all right. Like, great. This is something that happened to me. Let's move on. Like, there's just, there was zero time for dwelling. theme that you guys will find throughout these videos is this do it anyway mentality it's something that I first heard from Andy Frisella and I've tried to just embody over the last 12 months <laughs> this do it anyway like when you have a meeting and you don't feel like going like right now like you do it anyway when when you're tired do it anyway like going to the gym later like at the end of the day nobody cares how you feel so just do it anyway. Like, you know what you're supposed to do. Like, this isn't, we're not children. We're, we're, we're adults here. Like, let's just, just do what you're supposed to do. And, those, and that's just this mentality that you just have to carry with you at all times because um, if you don't, that's when excuses come in. Let's say you've made, you know, 50 phone calls, but you really needed to make 75 that day. And all of a sudden these excuses come in like, oh, well, I could, I could, I need to go do this. I need to go do that. Don't let it get to the point where it starts becoming seductive. Like, and, and what I mean by that is just don't give it the time. Like as soon as you are aware that an excuse is creeping in, you have to eliminate it. Because if you let it sit there, then it will become seductive and ultimately believable. When you, when you, anytime that you let an excuse hang out in your brain too long, you will ultimately believe it. And when you believe it, there's no overcoming it like because you believe that to be true even that which from the outside looking in seems absurd like how could you possibly have rationalized with yourself that it made more sense to do that but it's because you just let it hang out there too long and so you have to be able to become aware of when these excuses are creeping in and to just start completely um demolishing them but the reality is, and I think Andy Frisella was the first person that I heard really talking about this a lot, and I've adopted it ever since, this whole idea of do it anyway, is the fact that nobody cares how you feel. Nobody cares how you feel. If you said you were gonna do something, you go do it. Period, end of story. Another word for lying to yourself is just a lie, yeah. right? Yep. Rational. We, we should just call it just a lie. <laughs> Instead of justify, it's just a lie, <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, I was, this person did this to me. Just a lie. Yeah. Just keep love, just a lie. I love how Gary says and, dot, dot, dot. And? 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 Like, what are you gonna do about it? Yeah. A lot of these True. excuses are putting blame on something else and not taking blame yourself, not owning it, not taking right. personal responsibility. True. So if you get anything out of this, um, get that in that any excuse when it comes out of your mouth, it is you putting the blame for your lack of something right. on something else or someone else or yep. some system or whatever that may be. So take Product, that and flip it. company, the economy, the whatever it is. So take that and flip it and, and throw a, what can I do to make this situation better so that I don't feel this way? Or what can I do to increase my sales? What can I do to close more of these leads that I'm getting. Not these leads are crap. What can I do to close these leads?